Welcome back friends. We're doing our five tricks on the griddle. First one is the mason jar egg ring. So look, if you want to make an egg sandwich and you want a perfect egg and you don't own the silicone or the metal rings, but you got a mason jar lid laying around, boom, you can use that. You just spray it down like I did there, put the egg in, add a little bit of water and cover it. I do this with my egg rings too, so I always add water and then cover it with your regular dome or whatever just to steam it so it cooks from the bottom and the top. And then that's a way to get it to kind of look more like the McDonald's egg and so it doesn't burn on the bottom before you flip it. So watch, you'll see me here. Oh, didn't quite get that one. One more time. Okay. And uh, then, yeah, you can see the bottom's not too brown and it comes out for a perfect egg. Oh, take that, McDonald's. Second one is a deep fry. You can deep fry on the griddle. You can use a cast iron pan or a foil pan. I would not recommend using the cast iron pan. The foil one with the nachos works better. So look, I did the chicken wings in the cast iron. Eventually it was frying up fine, but it took forever. I mean forever. The wings turned out good, but it took like 45 minutes to get it up to temp. However, if you use the wings turned out good. You use a foil pan, it's thinner, which makes sense. So the oil heats up quicker because the cast iron, you gotta heat up the griddle and then the cast iron. So I should have figured that was gonna happen. I like to use peanut oil and then I use a foil pan. And it still takes about a half hour, but I put it on right when I preheat the griddle. So if you wanna do other stuff while it's preheating, you can like put down peppers and onions or something. But eventually it gets up to about 350 and then you can just start deep frying whatever you want so i did these tortilla chips for some nachos you can do a fish fry so it's just a good option to keep in mind maybe you want to do a big fish fry at your house or you don't want to stink up your kitchen you know like by frying up a bunch of stuff you can always use the griddle top to do that and it keeps all the grease outside now you put a warming rack put your nachos on it be careful i burnt mine because the griddle was still on so even though they weren't on the griddle um, the heat came up and burnt the nachos on the bottom but they look really good these are fajita nachos I'll link that video if you want to take a look at it the third trick is oven look at these biscuits so look you use your dome and you use this little grate and you kind of turn it into a makeshift oven I was doing biscuits and gravy in this video I'll put a card up in the top but you see me put them down put the dome down and then you can do this with biscuits. You could do it with like Pillsbury croissants, whatever you want. You can also, FYI, put biscuits right on the griddle like I did here, but they're going to get a little dark. They still tasted fine, but they got a little dark. And they did not look as good as these ones underneath the dome. Those ones turned out absolutely fantastic. They even got the little marks that kind of made them look nice. Look at these. Oh. So I'd highly recommend trying this. You can see the ones on the griddle, the ones that were under the dome in the grate, way better under the dome. I also did this with cinnamon rolls, but I did not use the grate. So they still got dark and they burnt a little bit. But it did create the oven effect and it still worked. But that was before I had the idea of using the grate. Um, and I actually saw that idea from Griddle Grub, which is a cool channel. Check it out. But you can do cinnamon rolls too. Check this out really good try cinnamon rolls on your griddle they're fun they're delicious next we have the volcano onion you know the hibachi volcano onion everybody loves to do so look <clears throat> it's pretty easy to show you there's rum oil onion and that's really all your ingredients there is your alcohol your oil and your onion so when you cut and peel your onion i'm going to go ahead and cut my onion into four parts here so you can see here I'll cut first right on the side there and then I'm going to do two more cuts and when you get four big thick slices of onion what you do after that is you want to use one of the two middle slices it just feels like they're thicker and they hold together better and it makes the volcano you can really use any slice you want I just like using the two middle slices so I'll build it first inside on the 
cutting board just so you can see I'm taking it off the ring and then the biggest ring and then you take the next one and put it on top and that's how it makes the onion you can do this outside um, I just wanted to do it inside so that you could see how it works uh, and you know if you're at a hibachi place they're gonna do this with a spatula and their little uh, two-pronged fork there but you can kind of see how you just slowly build it up and then you end up with the volcano and you know that's what we're gonna put on the griddle to about 400 degrees here comes all the rings of onion going down onto the griddle and we're just gonna pile them up obviously this would be great to do at the end of fried rice little thing on the liquor I'm using rum because that's what I had first I'm gonna put the oil in this is just regular old canola oil canola oil and then I'm using rum you could use any 80 proof liquor vodka should work some people recommended brandy um, I just happen to have rum laying around so then put the rum in hit it up didn't quite go so we got a little bit but not what we we're looking for right so then you got to add them a little bit more of the rum a little more liquor to get what you're looking for and then boom now we got ourselves an onion volcano and it collapsed and it's all your griddles on fire oh no it, but it's just fun a little party trick do final one this one was great is popcorn i just got a plain jar of orville redenbacher popcorn follow the instructions on the back pretty closely half a cup of kernels going in there then we're going to do four tablespoons of oil go ahead and get our griddle pretty hot we're looking at like uh, right around 400 degrees that was just below medium all four burners on my camp chef could be different for yours so make sure you, sure you have a thermometer put the oil down so I let the oil sit on the griddle for mm, I don't know 30 30 seconds to a minute maybe just to uh, let the oil get hot um, and kind of really get loosened up before I put the kernels in there then the kernels went in to the hot oil that's on the griddle I kept pushing it all back I kind of wanted to get all the kernels coated up and I just wanted to get everybody you know oil on there hot oil on the popcorn kernels make sure it's evenly spread around before I put my dome lid on top and then that's what creates kind of like the oven again but all now we got the kernels underneath the popcorn kernels underneath the dome so make sure everybody gets covered spread it out thin you don't want them piled up okay you want them spread out thin put the dome on top and then this took a total of like three and a half to four minutes until you start hearing popping and this is just like the jiffy pop if you've ever done the jiffy pop on your uh, stove I mean you're just listening for it to start popping and then you want to keep shaking around so they don't burn if you leave your griddle and you just let them sit there they're gonna burn so make sure you're just moving your little dome around this would be a fun thing to do if you have kids kids old enough to be by the griddle my son's like one so you know bring them out for the popcorn but anyways you just keep doing the uh, dome around as much as you can keep shaking it until you stop hearing it pop and then once you don't hear it pop anymore go ahead and lift it up and let's see Ooh, got ourselves some good looking popcorn there it made a lot of popcorn more than I thought so hit it up a little salt pepper butter seasoning and then some butter that I melted in the microwave I think I will start my diet next week thank you so much for watching have a good one and keep on griddling